One of the officials from Gazprom said it's unlikely the U.S. becomes a net exporter of oil and gas. Do you see that as sort of a, a dare? Uh, how likely is that in the medium or short term? Well, you and I both remember they said the same thing about natural gas, and, and here we are, net exporter of natural gas. We got the, the largest uh, gas bill in the world, you know, with the Marcellus, and, and certainly we've, we've got more potential than anybody else with crude oil, and we can get there. Uh, you know, it's going to be a measured approach, as I've said. Uh, we've got some governing things like market and, you know, supply and demand. We got to we got to watch out for. But yeah, we can get there, and and certainly, uh, you know, getting the ban lifted on exports was uh, a huge thing that was able to do, and and uh, that that cleared away. So we we we'll, you know, it's, exports is coming, uh, it's growing all the time, and. And certainly, uh, in the future, we'll be uh, a net exporter of oil. We can, we can reach energy independence just like uh, I predicted, and and do it very quickly. We said by uh, 2000, uh, you know, that by by, by 2020, and and uh, you know, maybe we set back here a year or two with a downturn, but but we're certainly going to get there. So that that's ahead of us. Maybe you can help us with some of the criticism around the orders to start construction on the Keystone XL pipeline and the Dakota Access pipeline. You know, the environmentalists will say that it contributes to climate change. It threatens clean water. That's why President Obama blocked it. Can you help us understand what President Trump does have planned in terms of a climate agenda? He told a group of auto CEOs yesterday that, to a large extent, I am an environmentalist. But then he signed these orders. So what do you expect from him here? Well, first of all, let's go back to DAPL. Let's just take that one, Dakota Access Pipeline. Uh, that was all about rule of law. I mean, they went through the process. They got all the permits and, and, and ready to make that happen. Uh, I built 99% of it. And, you know, at the last minute, he stepped in and uh, Obama, President Obama stepped in and stopped it with the Justice Department at the very last minute. It's like building a 20-story skyscraper, not being able to put the elevator house on top. So, I mean, that, that's what that was all about. You know, Pre President uh, uh, Trump a absolutely, uh, you know, will do the right thing with the climate. Uh, you know, we, we, we understand, uh, everybody understands that, you know, we, we have to march forward in a, a very constructive way. We're not going to be off crude oil. Uh, in, a, in the near term, so why not have it here instead of feeding Islamic terrorism in the Middle East? Let's de-intensify the Middle East and, and use what we have here and, uh, and take the emphasis off the Middle East. That's what we have to do. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.